So up until this point, we haven't really dealt with any server-side programming languages. We've dealt with um, JavaScript, which is a client-side language, along with uh, data interchange formats like XML, um, JSON. But PHP is a solid server-side language that is used on many of the popular websites like Facebook, Twitter. Um, it's really, it, it's used a lot and it goes really well with MySQL which is a relational database and we'll be discussing MySQL in the next chapter um, and PHP and how they go together so in this chapter I just want to go through the pretty much the basics of PHP and how variables and arrays are created loops things like that so PHP stands for PHP hypertext preprocessor and it was created by a programmer named Rasmus Lerdorf in 1995 um, like I said it's a server-side language so what that means is that everything is done on the web server as opposed to the clients computer um, all the decision-making um, conditionals things like that is all done on the server and it's very handy because it can be directly embedded into HTML um, by using these PHP tags. So you'd have the opening tag here, and then all the PHP, and then the closing tag. And you can output things. You can echo out values like, say in JavaScript, we have the document.write method. In PHP, you have the echo. Um, it's free and open source, which is always good. Uh, there's a ton of documentation at php.net. Um, it's a loosely typed language. It's not strict like, say, Java or C Sharp or something, or any of those types of languages. Um, and again, it works very well with MySQL, as well as some other uh, um, database systems, Postgres and um, Oracle. I think it can work pretty well with. I've never used them. I always used MySQL but it's it's pretty compatible um, let's see it's mostly used with MySQL it creates a user-friendly interface when dealing with data uh, PHP can generate web content or HTML um, you can use command line scripting PHP can be used to build desktop applications although that's not really it's not a popular thing uh, PHP is mostly it really shines on the web um, it can be used as a object oriented language or as a procedural language. When PHP first came around it was mostly procedural but nowadays it's really recommended that you do things in an object oriented fashion. Uh, it's just more secure, it's more reusable, and it's just, uh, it's just better programming. So to embed PHP inside an HTML document is extremely easy. Um, here we have an H1 tag, a paragraph, another paragraph where we have written by, and then an opening PHP tag, and then we're echoing out a variable. Like I said, echo is similar to document.write in JavaScript. It's just going to print something out on the screen. And then we have the semicolon. Uh, much like JavaScript, although in JavaScript you don't need the semicolon, in PHP you do. And then we have the closing tag. So it's very easy to embed, which makes it um, a real desirable language. So variables, loops, arrays, um, all the programming basics are available in PHP. So pretty much everything that we went over in JavaScript will be going over in PHP. And there's some things uh, just have very little difference, um, but of course it's important and needed. Um, for instance, a variable needs to have a dollar sign on the at the beginning of it. Okay, so in JavaScript, this would just be my var. In PHP, we need this dollar sign. All right, so we can assign strings, integers, arrays, uh, much like JavaScript. Arrays, we can also have associative arrays, which are extremely helpful. Um, so we can create an array, and we can give it a key. So we have name as a key, 
and then a value in this case is brad okay so it's also known as a hash if you've worked with ruby on rails um, or some other languages this is sometimes called a hash um, in php they're called associative arrays uh, loops we have for while do while and for each which is used for arrays um, like in javascript we use a for in in php we use a for each uh, functions objects all we can do all that stuff in PHP and we will be doing all that in this chapter uh, object oriented programming in PHP is uh, it really shines when you use objects um, this is an example of course it's a hypothetical example as we have a class of dog um, so all objects have they belong to a class um, here we have some properties okay so classes can have properties in this case our class of dog has two properties one of breed and one of color alright so those are properties now we can also have methods objects have methods so for instance we have a method called bark and by the way a method is just a function that's inside of a class it's it's just a function um, and in this case this function is just gonna echo out bark and you might see these private and public these are access identifiers and what this means is if it's private you cannot access this this property outside of the class okay if it was public you could directly access it you could assign a value to it or whatever um, what what's popular to do in PHP is to have your functions or methods be public and you use a function to access your properties instead of just accessing them um, directly so if we want to instantiate a an object from a class we would create a variable and it would be equal to new and then the class name which is dog and then to call a method we could use the variable and then the uh, uh, dash and then a greater than and then the method name alright so this is how we would call the bark function or method okay and we'll definitely get into more of this as the sec as the chapter goes on so that's the uh, base those are the basics of PHP um, I think it's it's easier to show you how things work as opposed to go through a PowerPoint so that's why I didn't have too much information in this PowerPoint so uh, in the next section we'll get into it